Hey guys, and welcome to The Shack. In this video, I will be attempting to purify store-bought muriatic acid into reagent-grade hydrochloric acid. The basic idea behind this purification is to heat the impure acid and cause the hydrogen chloride to vaporize. We can do this because hydrochloric acid is just hydrogen chloride gas dissolved in water. The gas will be directed into a flask of cold water where it can redissolve. The water is cooled in an ice bath because gases are much more soluble at lower temperatures. The first time I tried this, I used a funnel as a suckback trap. However, for some reason, this prevented any HCl from bubbling through the water in my receiving beaker. So I removed the funnel, and sure enough, I got a huge suckback incident and lost about half of my product. On the second try, I used a flat bottom flask as a trap but the acid vapor seemed to be condensing in the bottom of the flask before they could bubble through the graduated cylinder filled with water. The only way I could get a good bubbling rate was to turn stirring off and on repeatedly, thus generating surges of hydrogen chloride gas that couldn't condense fast enough and thus bubble through the cylinder. However, it was a pain to keep having to turn the stirring on and off. Now I'll show you the method that appeared to work flawlessly until I tested the results. What I did was to drop in a piece of aluminum foil to the flask with the impure acid. This would then react with the acid and produce heat, which would boil the acid and generate a massive surge of hydrogen chloride gas. The gas would then bubble through an Erlenmeyer flask filled with water, and this was my main receiving vessel. Any gas that did not dissolve would then bubble through the second flask. Both were placed in an ice bath to ensure maximal absorption of HCl. When I dropped in the first piece of aluminum, I was relieved to see a large amount of gas bubbling through both flasks. Of course, most of the bubbles are just hydrogen, but we should be getting a fair amount of HCl as well. Okay, so I've added 8 small pieces of aluminum so far, and I just realized that I forgot to include a suckback trap. I've already lost several mils of the acid in my collection flask that got sucked back into the impure acid. So to prevent further losses, I'm going to remove the rubber stopper from the first flask and allow any acid trapped in the tubing to flow back inside. I added a third flask as a suckback trap, and it worked flawlessly. After adding 10 small pieces of aluminum, I stopped stirring and let everything cool down. Once I removed all the flasks and stoppered them off, I found that the trap flask had collected the largest amount of acid, while the other two flasks had less than 5 mils. I titrated the acid in each flask and found that each sample was less than 0.1 molar, which is extremely dilute. In fact, none of the samples even turned pH paper red. The lowest pH reading I got was 5. These poor results could be because I didn't use enough aluminum, I didn't cool the receiving flask enough, or because all of the concentrated acid got lost in the suckback incident. Overall, it's safe to say that this purification method sucks. In retrospect, I think that the acid that condensed in my backflow trap during the second method may be purer than I thought, as boiling and condensing the acid effectively removes any solid contaminants. If you are interested in purifying hydrochloric acid yourself, you can see the video by the home scientist which I've linked in the description. His method works, but it takes several weeks, and that's why I was trying to find an alternative method. Now, store-bought hydrochloric acid might not be as impure as I expected. In a future video, I will quantitatively determine the purity and concentration of this acid via a gravimetric titration. Depending on the results, I will continue to pursue alternative ways of purifying hydrochloric acid. Well, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.